Hey guys, my name is GK and Google networking is one of the most important chapter for the exam. The reason for that is that there are at least two questions that are asked from this chapter and indeed it's easy to you know crack those questions uh, if you understand the Google's network topology um, and, and their VPC. Before we get started, let's understand first what exactly is a VPC. So VPC is a virtualized private network uh, from you know the data center network. So that helps your resources to talk to each other and connect to each other. The way Google has laid out VPC is a bit different from other cloud service providers. The reason for that is that Google's VPC is a global resource, which means that the VPC spans across the regions. When I say that a VPC is a global resource, let's understand how resources are global, regional, or zonal. So this concept is not only specific to GCP, but also it applies for you know, um, any cloud service provider. Some of the key components that are global in GCP are like firewall, VPCs, you know, network, uh, network routes, images, instant templates. And if, if you look at the regional resources in GCP, uh, subnets are regional resource. Uh, we're going to discuss about the subnets as part of uh, this course. Zonal resource are instances. So your compute engine instances that we have created in my previous videos, they are zonal resources. So when I say zonal, which means that, so when you create, uh, if you if you see the structure of cloud service providers, you know they have data centers inside a zone. Uh, if you see, like for example, US Central is a region, and there are like three or four zones inside US Central and the data centers are clustered in, in, in a zone. But when you create your first project in GCP, you have a default VPC that's created so that you know you can create your resources in that VPC. You can create multiple VPCs inside a project unless your IAM restricts that. One of the key concepts of GCP is that you can have a shareable network, which means that, so if you have an organization, you know your projects roll out to an organization or a folder. Right. So let's say that you want to create one huge network that spans across the projects in an organization. You can create that so that, you know, you will have one network administrator who is going to manage the whole network in a multi-tenant, multi-tenancy model. And so that you can have multiple projects using the same network in an organization. So that is called the shareable network, which is a key concept in GCP network. The, uh, another key important feature of uh, GCP's network is the VPCs are expandable, which means that you can increase the IP address space inside a subnet without any downtime. So there are two types of VPC networks that you can create. So one is auto mode and the other one is custom mode. So in the auto mode, as we discussed, you know, it creates subnets um, and each subnet per each region. Uh, so you don't, you have less control of uh, how you want to manage the subnets. So that's the, that's the auto mode. So in the custom mode, you can define how many subnets you want to create per region, whether you don't want to create any subnet per region when you're going to create a network. So you can define the custom. So in a bigger organization, you know, custom mode is more preferable than an auto mode. So from the exams perspective, what will be tested is um, how we are going to create a, a custom network and then spin up a compute engine VM or uh, spin up the resource and assign the IP address and how we want to manage the resources in the custom network. So now let's go to the console and play around with the networking service. So now I'm going into the VPC network. As you can see for this project, I have a default network. Um, as I've uh, discussing before, the network spans across the globe. And you can see the reason for that and you can see that multiple regions here. And each region by default in the default network has a subnet. So there are default, uh, there's a default subnet for each region, right? So, so that's an auto mode. So let's say that, you know, if I create a new VPC network here and give YouTube, you know, default or YouTube new network or something, right? And I can give some descriptions. So the subnets are the custom and automatic subnets. So if I select auto subnet, it will again create one subnet for each region. And then you can control what are the firewall rules. For instance, you know, this, uh, the number of, uh, or, or the VMs inside that 
subnet are not allowed to access anything outside or they are not allowed to connect uh, from outside using SSH. So you can control the ingress and egress for those VMs residing in, inside their subnet. So custom, like I was saying before, is the choice for the organizations because they prefer to control like how many subnets have to be allocated per each region or there should not be any default, uh, I mean one subnet per each region. So you have a better control in custom. So I think that's it for this video. As a part one, I just want to give you an introduction to the VPC networks. So in the next video, we're going to create a custom subnet and then create you know, VMs inside the custom subnet we can create our own CIDR blocks uh, for the subnet and then play around with that uh, and also create firewalls. I hope this is uh, helpful. Uh, this is uh, for those who are new to Google's networking. This, this video will help them. And from next video, uh, it will be more on the, the creation of uh, VPC networks and creation of you know, compute engine inside the VPC networks. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good rest of your day. Thank you.